So Technics was really famous in the 70s especially for making uh, the SL1200, which was the DJ deck of all time. It's what every DJ everywhere in the world, that was the deck that they wanted to use. And for the most part, they did use because they, they sold, that's what, what, what people bought. Um, what very few people ever heard or saw was a deck that they made for radio station use mainly, some studios, and that was the SP-10. It was super duper expensive. The Mark II was about $1,000 just for the motor unit, and the Mark III, which was the super esoteric one, was $3,000 just for the motor unit back in like 1980. So it was the Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, McLaren, whatever, of turntable drive units. And then it went out of production for 40 years until a few years ago when Techniques decided, I have no idea why, but thank God they did, they said, well, we're gonna bring it back into production and we're gonna make a new version. So I'm gonna unbox here an SP-10R. I'm gonna show you how it fits into our plinth system. Techniques actually did make their own plinth for this turntable. However, their plinth wasn't heavy enough, well damped enough. I mean, this thing is so heavy. It's beautifully made. It's made in one factory in Japan and each motor unit, I can barely hold this up. Each motor unit is made by one guy. So it takes like three to four months just to get one of these. And So it fits into this cast iron plinth that we make, and now this thing is getting close to 200 pounds, super well damped, has a beautifully done, brand new electronic motor control because it's a DC motor, which will work anywhere in the world. And this motor control is extremely sophisticated. They did a super good job with it. And uh, one of the interesting things that they did, which I have not read about in reviews, is that they, and they hardly talk about it in the manual, so this, this sits next to the unit, is that they allow you, besides being able to control the speed, 33, 45, 78, it also has a feature that allows you to control the torque of the motor, which actually changes the sound of the turntable noticeably. And underneath this, is a platter and a mat. And this platter is really, it's unbelievably heavy. It's filled with very exotic metals with a brass top. This weighs like 20 pounds, something close to it. And it has tungsten inserts for increased uh, flywheel effect. And then this sits right on top of the plinth. There's a tool that you're supposed to use to drop it on, but I'm just being very careful. It's a work of art, actually. This turntable system has been reviewed by people like Michael Fremer, very comparably to his $200,000 continuum turntable. Frankly, I thought this sounded better. 
There's not much in the world today that you can buy for about $20,000 without the tone arm. That's the best thing in the world. And this truly is. Plus, this will last forever. As long as there's electricity, um, pretty sure that you'll be running this thing. So it's, it's really fantastic that Techniques brought back the SP-10 and even took it to another level. And we're just really thrilled to be able to collaborate with Techniques and create a plinth system which allows you to put whatever tone arm you want. We also make a two-arm version of this deck. This fits just about any arm you can possibly imagine. So you have ultimate flexibility and just by loosening up these six screws, you can take this out and put another tone arm on. So you can really play around with all sorts of arms and cartridges, if that's your kind of thing. Or you just enjoy this and listen to music in a way that very few people, unfortunately, have ever heard. So that's the Techniques SB10R story at OMA.